Grade 6 math number 9.6a, integer multiplication. We know that 2 times 4 means we have two 4s, or 4 plus 4. And 3 times 5 means 5 plus 5 plus 5, we have three fives. Well, we use these same methods to multiply positive and negative integers. I want you to remember that we're going to be using these chips, and the red ones mean one negative number, and the green ones mean one positive number. So if I have three red ones, that means I've got a negative three, okay? All right, I want you to look at this one. We've got two times negative six. What that means is negative six plus negative six. It means we have two negative sixes, see? So it's gonna be a negative 12. We've got two of them. If we've got two times negative two, it's the same thing as saying we have a negative two and a negative two. We've got two of them. So that makes negative four. If we've got negative, if we've got a four times a negative two, see? That means we've got four of these negative twos, see? Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. It's the same thing as if we had four times two, we'd have four twos. It's just now we have four negative twos. So now we have negative eight, all right? So we're just saying how many times we have that negative number. 5 times negative 3 means we have 5 negative 3's. See? That would be negative 15. We've got 5 negative 3's is going to make negative 15. Okay? 2 times 5 means we have 2 5's. 5 plus 5, that equals 10. 2 times negative 5 means we have 2 negative 5's. A negative 5 and a negative 5. We've got negative 10. Even if the first number has the negative sign and the second number is positive, because on all of these, the first one was positive, and we were multiplying it to a negative number, right? Well, what if the first number has a negative sign, and the second number is positive? Well, because of the commutative property of multiplication, remember, it says it doesn't matter which direction you're going, it's going to still be the same thing. Because of this property, it doesn't matter if the negative sign is the first number or the second number. It's still going to equal the same thing. If we have two negative threes, it's the same thing as saying negative three two times. See? The product's going to be the same. Now, did you notice that when we multiply a positive number with a negative number, the product is always negative. Look at this. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. Every time we multiply a positive number with a negative number, the product is always a negative number. That's a good rule to remember. All right. So now I want to show you a number line. Here's our number line, and we've got our zero way over here because we're dealing with negative numbers. I had to push it off to this side so I had enough room. We've got two times a negative four. That means we have a negative four and a negative four. It's gonna give us a negative eight. So see what it looks like on the number line? If we had three times negative four, we would have jumped one more time to the negative 12, see? It's just saying how many times we have a negative four. All right, now I want you to look at this. We know that three times three is nine. And if we go down and say 3 times 2, we know it's 6. And 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 0 is 0. But look what happens when we keep going down below the number line. See, because on a number line, we have 0 in the middle, and then it goes 1, 2, 3 for the positive numbers, and then it goes negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So we're doing this with our multiplication tables with 3s. When we get to the 0, we know it equals 0, because the 0 property rule, right? 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3. 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. Do you see what's happening? It's a mirror image of the numbers on the other side of the 0. See that? 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And it would just keep going and going and going, just like the 3 times table on the other side of the 0. All right? So now there's something else I want to show you. Do you remember the identity property of multiplication? It said that 1 times any number is that number, it keeps its identity. So one times four is four. One times 99 is 99, right? Well, because of this identity property of multiplication, one times a negative four is gonna be a negative four. See? One times negative 99 is negative 99. It's gonna keep its identity. But this is what's really cool. If we have a negative one times a four, now then one is the negative number. 
it gives us a negative 4. Why? A negative 1 can give its sign to the product. And the reason is, the product of negative 1 and any integer is the opposite or additive inverse of that integer. Okay? Do you remember what the additive inverse was? If this is our number line and this is 0, positive 1 is the additive inverse of negative 1. Because when you add them together, they cancel each other out. Negative 2 and positive 2 are opposite of each other because if you add them together, they equal 0 and cancel each other out. And negative 3 and positive 3 and negative 4 and positive 4. They're the additive inverse, okay? So when we do negative 1 times 4, it becomes the additive inverse, the opposite. See that? No big deal, okay? I'm going to make 9.6b. I'm going to continue talking about integer multiplication. And now we're going to do a negative times a negative. All right? I'll see you there. Bye.